So, it's things like this that make me love farm life. Fruits that are readily available. You see? I don't want to buy guavas. Mm -hmm. First part of the farm, it has made so a, a bigger portion of the farm has maize and some bananas, as you can see. We have popo in the middle. Sometimes we plant um, yams. So the bigger portion of this uh, farm is maize because that is a staple food in Kenya and mostly in, in Western Kenya. That's why the you can see maize almost in the whole farm. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Still maize, guys. Still maize. Between, in between the maize and the one one piece of the farm of the maize and the other one this napier alongside it just to you know you, you're also saving on land because when you have uh, the land is not too big and you don't have the bigger portions to, to plant food for the animals you divide your your piece of land into rows like this and then on the ridges you can plant your napier grass and some vegetables and you can see some bananas also inside the the maize yeah. So right now I'm standing on the I think the fifth piece of the land because it is divided into into pieces for convenience when you're planting different kinds of foods. And then the fifth one has napier grass. This is pure napier grass from that end to the other end. It has some trees that the, the cows feed on. So this is purely cow feed and other animals feed that we plant in this piece. At least to, to make sure you are balancing human food and, you know, the animals food. Come with me, I show you the sixth piece of the land of the a typical African. Now, so let's see. now, this is typical for most uh, Kenyans and most Africans. This is how their farms look, look like because most of them, from the top where we came from, has a lot of maize. And then here we have napier grass for the cows and you know the animals. And then the next part is vegetables now you do you don't want to miss vegetables in your farm because you know you cannot have the cornmeal pekiake so you're going to need vegetables so and in the vegetables you have uh, kales we have kales that we are these kales or collard greens i don't know but we have that which do so well here and then we also have another type of vegetables you see the vegetables that we have planted here, we have kunde. I don't know how kunde is called. Well, how is kunde? Peas. It's a form of pea, pea but here they are. They, they are yet to grow. They're still too young. So that is peas and they do also well. And then we have this kind of vegetables also. We have this kind of vegetables. They are called managu in Kenya. Yeah. That is a true name. So we have managu. And then... Apart from Managu, you cannot be Kenyan or, or from Western, you don't know what Mrenda is. So we have Mrenda. This one is called Mrenda, very sweet and healthy for the children. If you want your children to grow very well, you're going to have to plant these things in your garden. They come in handy when, for your health, baby's nutrition and health and keep them away from the doctors. 
So th that is what we plant in this farm. Th that's just a few of the vegetables because we have limited space for vegetables. But they serve us well. And yeah, that's what you can plant in your farm. If you're moving to Kenya and or you're moving to Africa and wondering how the temperature is, I'm going to put the temperatures in the link below or even on the screen. Uh, the way temperatures because we are we are close to Lake Victoria more than we are close to the to Kakamega and the other the other highway. So the temperatures we experience are influenced by the lake, and that's why we plant these kind of things. We have bananas, we have popos, we have guavas. Yeah, it's fun living in Africa and. It's, if you're struggling to live in town, move to move to a rural area, move to, to a farm, move on a farm and plant your things and you're going to have fun living there. I'm done with the farm guys this is the homestead that's my brother don't worry about the clothes guys we have limited cloth line so that's typically the homestead yeah so when you come from the gate like that where is the gate now yeah that's the gate you go up that is the house see and then when you go upwards there's what you call backyard that yard is the one we used to, you know, where the magic goes down. We make stories, we make the food there, you know. Yeah, it's life in the village. So you can see people are making bogas. Hey guys. Vegetables. Oh, and say hi. <laughs> yeah, we are making vegetables. This is pretty much where we make. We sit here to relax sometimes and make, you know, veggies. People, some, some people feed from here. The kids, that's my mom. Her phone is amazing. We know. <laughs> this is my sister. My brother rambling up there. <laughs> that's my other brother. That's the garage. That's that, the cows. So I'm done with the farm, guys. This is the homestead. That's my brother. Don't worry about the clothes, guys. We have limited cloth line. So that's typically the homestead. Yeah. So when you come from the gate, like that, where is the gate now? Yeah. That's the gate. You go up. That is the house. See? And then, when you go upwards, there's what you call backyard. <laughs> that yard is the one we used to, you know, where the magic goes down. We make stories. We make... The food there, you know. Yeah, it's life in the village. So you can see people are making bogas. Hey guys. Vegetables. Oh, and say hi. <laughs> yeah, we are making vegetables. This is pretty much where we make, we sit here to relax sometimes and make, you know, veggies. People, some, some people feed from here. The kids, that's my mom. Her phone is amazing. We know. <laughs> this is my sister. My brother rambling up there. <laughs> that's my other brother. That's the garage. That's that, the cows back there. So, yeah, that's how the African ones they look like. So, I'm going to show you where the other cows are. Yeah. So, guys, let's continue. That is the garage. <laughs> The garage is here, and then from there, we head over to, I hope you can see guys, there's another house here that is used as a store, let me show you, yeah, that's a store, you know, at home, my dad likes to build things, so, when you come this way, you meet, uh, this place where we keep ducks now the ducks were here but they have gone for for our ducks stay here and then the little ones the little ducks stay there that's pretty much life 
in the village we have some bags there where we plant onions and then we have a cow shed cow shed currently they have been taken for i think cleaning they're not here let's close that and then when you open this place you find chicken we have takis inside of there say hi say hi taki say hi say hi we have a goat coming to say hi to me chicken say hi kiddies say hi so they live in there and then this side this side is pretty much where the animals spend their day because there is enough sun you can see the goat is roaming around and having fun so the, the backyard looks like this there's a permanent stone wall behind it so that they don't go away or run away and stuff so yeah that's it guys so guys that's pretty much life in kenya and in africa and you know that's what we do when we're at home we take care of chicken take care of stuff and then we plant our own things life on the farm is very easy and you've seen you can plant your food you can have fun you can relax there's enough space yeah there's a goat there saying hi to me there's chicken so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like it kindly subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell for updates every time i upload like this video comment and share comment about your home and if you like to move to this to africa and to kenya yeah 